Dr. Racket again. We'll require picturing programs and then programs with some expressions that are nested. They have expressions within expressions. You can run it by clicking run and figure out how we got from those expressions to the result. Or we could look at it step by step in the stepper. So this application of the function scale to an image has the result that's underlined in purple, so the entire scale application is replaced by that image. And that's what P is going to be defined to be. Now whenever we see P, we can replace it by that little lizard. After one step, that's what it's replaced by. Here's another instance of P. We generally work from the inside out. We've replaced it again. Now we have to replace the horizontally flipped lizard into the statement that says to flip it horizontally. That's what it looks like after one step. The statement flip vertical P, well first we have to figure out what P is. We replace it by that little lizard. And now where it says flip vertical lizard, we replace it by a vertically flipped flip lizard. Now all three images are going to be plugged in where the statement says to put each of those images beside each other. After this step, we begin another involved beside statement. And I think you get the idea now. Whatever's green before, after one step, is replaced by what was purple. Green to purple. Sometimes the purple's a bit subtle if it's an image because it's a little underlined. It works on numbers in arithmetic too. 3 divided by 4 is replaced by 3 quarters. Multiply it by 2 and it's replaced. The substring, string append statements are replaced by their results.